I was in the freshman building first floor and he went up and down the hallway just banging and shooting into the classrooms he shot through my door and broke the window. Yeah, he was on the third floor. He knows the school layout. He knows where everyone would be at as of right now. He, he's been in this fire drills. He's prepared for this stuff. Breaking news, chaos on campus. The sheriff saying a former student goes on a murderous rampage inside the halls of his former school. Tonight, Parkland, Florida, 17 are dead, more than a dozen seriously injured, leaving a community in shock. It's a day that you pray every day. I get up that we will never have to see. Um, it is in front of us, and I ask the community for your prayers, um, your support. Uh, for these children and their families. Just pray for this city, pray for this school, the parents, the, 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 the folks that lost their lives. It's a horrific, horrific day. Now the community prays for peace as they mourn those young lives cut short and pursue justice for their senseless murders. And tonight the Broward County Sheriff has identified the shooter as 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz. There are new photos showing Cruz as police arrested him in nearby Coral Springs. The sheriff says Cruz had been expelled from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Tonight, his former classmates saying they're not surprised. Fox 5 News anchor Sine Simpson is here now to give us a closer look at this tragedy. And Sine, people across the country tonight are asking why. Yeah, they are, Tom. But Tom, 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz was recently expelled from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School for disciplinary reasons. Well, today, some of his classmates said it really wasn't surprising that he was the one behind this deadly devastation. As the school day ended in Parkland, Florida, police say Nicholas Cruz's deadly rampage began. Armed with an assault rifle and smoke grenades, officers say Cruz first shot two people outside of the Broward County High School and then moved inside. Just banging and shooting into the classrooms he shot through my door. I know that three people, I think about three in my classroom got hurt. I just saw blood everywhere. One student who knows Cruz says he wasn't surprised to learn his former classmate was the suspect. He carried multiple guns. He showed me his guns. I actually, I was kicked out of school myself and I saw what guns he had. He showed me personally. Um, and not a lot of times the kids wouldn't pick on him for that kind of stuff because they knew what could go on. They were scared at the time. Scared in a town that was recently voted Florida's safest by the National Council for Home Safety and Security. Sadly, in one afternoon, that sense of safety was shattered as students, staff, and parents' worst nightmare became reality. Well, police say at this late hour, they are still working to identify and notify the families of the 17 victims. Also, Florida's governor says the state is going to pay for the funerals of the victims. Now, as for shooting suspect Nicholas Cruz, a former classmate says that he bragged about killing animals, even shooting them, in his own backyard. It's just still so hard to believe. Sine, thanks. For other parents, the sense of relief was palpable as they were reunited with their children outside the school. Embracing, crying, some students clearly in shock following one of the deadliest school shootings in the country's history. This afternoon, Florida senators reacted to the horror unfolding in their home state. This is a terrible situation and it's amazing the amount of carnage uh, that one individual uh, could carry out in such a short period of time. Our heart goes out to the families, the students, the school. Uh, they're grieving. I have already said my prayers to give them comfort, but this is a tough time. President Trump sharing his thoughts today as well, tweeting, quote, my prayers and condolences to the families of the victims of the terrible Florida shooting. No child, teacher, or anybody else should ever feel unsafe in an American school. That from the president. Stay with Fox 5 News Edge at 11 here. We'll continue to follow this story as it develops through the newscast. We'll have a live update in just a few minutes. And remember, you can get the latest information 24 hours a day on Fox5Atlanta.com or the free Fox 5 News app.